decided to make the trek up this morning and see what we could do. We were going to go last night with the lights. The only problem was a big old storm came through. So we decided to wake up early this morning and get out here. We should be there in about a freckle past a hair and we'll see y'all there. <laughs> So, we're the only one on the lake. Check this out. This is our freaking GoPro kind of stand-up thing. So this is actually what the, the seat back here goes into. Does that screw in? Yeah, it screws. So this screws in here. And then what we did is we put some shop towels on this guy and screwed it into where the seat goes. And this is a paint and stretch and pole to where we can put the GoPro on there and film us on the bow. So it's a new way, because we used to have it in between the steering wheel here, and it would get in the way, and then you had to move everything every time you did it, so it was always a pain. But I think we're set up, bows are out, everything's good. Uh, just gotta back her in, park the truck, get out there. There's a tad bit of wind, a lot of water moving, but it's looking clear right here, the biggest thing, and carp just jumped right there. Dude, good luck, let's get her. And in-law just asked me if I wanted to bring the bananas on the boat and I was kind of nervous because I don't know how this is going to be yet. Usually I don't care, man. If you guys don't know, bananas are bad luck on a boat. So I'm not going to bring them on until we know there's fish here. You know what I'm saying? Let's get it. There was a bunch. I was like, where's my bow? Let's untie and get out there. Perfectly broadside, just like a white-tailed deer, dude. Well, stinks out the boat. First one in the boat, 10 minutes in. It's a big one, too. It's a good one for the first first one. The goal is to fill up the first day. Yes, we did bat him, by the way. 
Everybody always asks that. He got me good on that guy. He freaking, he burned the crap out of me. Oh, you're not gonna be able to see it, but he got in that skin good. These, uh, these carp, from what we've been seeing since we've been here, is they're sitting up on these rock patches. It's super dirty out here, but they're sitting up on these rocks, just still spawning, so, which is pretty crazy. Like, you figured they would be spawned and stuff by now, like Texas is and stuff like that, but we had a pretty late start summer, so who knows, man. In-law needs to get his bow fixed so he can get back up here. Punch spawning right here on top. Like I just see fins like crazy. Gonna drill in here real slow. It's hard to see with this glare. The sun's still coming up. My glasses so hot. My glasses are fogging up. That's the first big group of a spawn I've seen all year. We're gonna spot and stalk these fish. There's a good one. Oh, that's a good one. There's a million of them. Oh my gosh. Oh, I missed. He's still right there. My arrow flew weird. Oh crap, it came out. Oh. I had him good. That was a bunch of them spawning up top. Holy smokes. And these things freaking fight here, dude. They fought a lot harder than where we usually fish. These fish are on fire right now. They're just like, I just want to have sex. All right, Elon, get your damn bow set up. Hurry Working up. on it. Oh, what the hell? It's a fucking mirror. It's a mirror, bro. Oh, what? No. Yeah. Nice. All right, guys, so our first little hour there, we uh, we trolled the, the dam all the way down, and it was really good, really, really good. Uh, we had some issues and stuff. In-laws knock broke twice. I don't know why, probably from the rocks. There's a lot of rocks, so we go through quite a few tips. I already went through two. I was shooting fish and lost three. It's just, you know, your freaking, your tip needs to be sharp, so, and when you're hitting them on rocks like that, it's uh, it's pretty hard. The water's not as clear as I want it to be. It's still pretty chalky. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull the trolling motor up and I'm gonna run out to the middle of the lake here and see if I can find clear water at all because you know with it being hot and spawning time, you've seen that one just they they should be on top. So if not, then we'll just keep trolling the dam and maybe go over to that dam and see how that is and uh, just keep working it. I think we got five in the boat so far and they're all good ones. In-law shot a couple mirror carps, which is cool, and uh, just keep getting her. Alright, we're 
on the other side of the lake. I'm gonna try this spot out. There's a lot of grass mats here, so I'm hoping it'll be good. Sorry if you hear the generator, it might be a little loud, but I don't want my trolling motor to die. Okay, a little rockier than I thought here. These fish are back in here where we can't get, it's too shallow. I've got the trolling motor all the way up. They're all in here, but it's so murky, you can't even see the bottom, and it's only not even a foot deep. Dude, they're everywhere. Look at them all. Oh. Wow, look at all that. You guys see that mud? Damn. They're freaking everywhere. Look at them all back in there. This is carp heaven, but we can't see nothing. Oh, yeah. Okay. I thought that was just a leaf. That's a freaking giant stick or rock. Oh, <laughs> just shot him in the air. Oh, he slowly rolled Oh, I got him. I oh, domed him. I domed him. Holy crap. Good shot. Okay, good deal, y'all. So we found a little beachy area. Oh, nice. Oh, crap. Oh, come on. Come on. Stay here. Oh, he's a big one. It's a big one. Nice. Dang. a fat one, dude. <laughs> hey. Good job. I'm beating you by one. <laughs> oh, he's right there still. Oh, dude, oh yeah, you got him. You got him. Oh. Be careful. He's in his tail. Yeah. Be careful. Oh no! I can't put it easy. There you go. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, there you go. That one was nuts. Gosh dang it. We just Jacob just shot one, and it was right on the seawall, and it just the arrow was smacking like crazy. We didn't have the GoPro going, of course. Careful. Got him. Good job, dude. Oh my gosh, what the heck? What the hell? He took his insides out. Dude, it looks like a balloon. All right, it's too freaking hot now. It's like 100 damn degrees out here. There's not much of a breeze. So, uh, and we got broken arrows and everything like that, but it was so far a good day. We filled up about half the trash can. It did pretty gosh dang good, so it's probably our best day out here. Next time we'll come prepared with more arrows and not shoot as many rocks, I think. And uh, it was good. So I'm just kind of waiting for this lake to clear up a little bit. Now, I was talking to one guy and he said it's been, uh, it's a little bit more clear than it w has been, but it's been pretty dirty. So maybe uh, another week or so. We gotta, me and in-law gotta go to Florida next week. So maybe when we get back from that, we'll try it again. If you guys like the bow fishing videos, make sure to thumbs this son bick up. I know a lot of you guys do. So we're gonna haul balls back. We need some food and we need some gosh dang water. But it was a good day on the water, that's for shizzle. Carpe diem, boy. Holy dick, that was a fun day, but it is way too hot to be wearing this. Good God. So we got a bucket full of freaking fish. Oh my gosh, I can barely lift the gosh dang thing. Big carp too, so it was good. in I shot a couple mirrors, which is pretty rare, but this lake has them a lot more than the other lakes that we fish. So I want to ask you guys a question. Listen, I've been thinking about this a lot. By the way, I, you guys always ask me, hey man, where can I get that Surrender the Fish merch? We got that Surrender the Fish. These are the fishing hoodies. These are performance hoodies that are super light. So even though it's like 95 degrees out right now, I'm still somewhat cool and I can feel the uh, I can feel the air coming through. In-laws got his on too, but he's got the just the long sleeve version with no with no what's it called? Hood. Hood. Yeah. But you guys can get the merch on outlawmerch.com. Links always in the description box. Everything you guys get supports us do more of these videos and we sure do appreciate it. But back to what I was saying. My question, I've been thinking about this a lot. What is my favorite type of fishing to do? I'm not much of a freshwater guy. I like bass fishing every once in a while. I'd rather saltwater fish. 
But I think my favorite type of fishing is bow fishing, y'all. It's too much fun. You can still talk to your buddies and, uh, Hell, you can pretty much do it anywhere in the U.S. So you guys let me know what your favorite type of fishing is in the comments below. I want to know because if a lot of you guys say the same thing, then I might try to do some more videos on it. Thanks for watching, y'all. Keep it freaking heel, Billy, and we'll see you next time. Holler. Keep it freaking heel. Oh, sorry, dude. I, I forgot to say the last word. I know you were trying to do a little a, a cool little artistic outro, but <laughs> keep it freaking heel, Billy. Duh. Is that artistic? <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool. Impressing all the girls while they're tanning on the bank. 